what's up guys welcome back to the channel and today we are still playing Fall Guys because I'm really actually enjoying this game I may not be the best at it but I certainly am having a lot of fun playing it but we're also going to be doing something a little bit different as well I'm probably going to be starting this thing which I'm thinking of calling game and chat where basically what's going to happen is there's going to be a topic or conversation that I'm going to talk about and then at the end of the video if you like the video please hit that thumbs up that'd be much appreciated but also leave your comments and thoughts uh, in the comment section below where you can talk about your own experiences let me know what you think about what I've spoken about also give me um, some suggestions of future topics that you want to hear about as well as future games that you want to see me to play as well today's topic is about my console gaming history basically going to be looking back on all the different kind of uh, interactions I've had with game consoles or PC gaming and kind of build my way through that through the years and to get to this point now where I'm playing PlayStation 4 and recording it and uploading it on YouTube. So yeah, let's have a bit of fun with this and get into it and start off with the nice backdrop of Fall Guys action. First round up today is DoorDash, which should be interesting. Now in terms of my first experience of gaming came around when I was like, I was really young when I could think back on it. And my dad had a, like a, an old school computer, which had the kind of like, I think it was just MS-DOS computers, you know? And on it, he had like, Snake. I kind of remember him playing Snake and you know, sometimes letting me have a little go with Snake as well uh, when I was young and then he had other games eventually that he kind of let me play. Uh, there was like there was like a fighting game on there. Oh man, I, I just got sucker punched by that door. That was so annoying. Um, there was like one little fighting game that he played, that I played with him. Um, which I don't remember, I, honestly some of the earlier games I can't remember what they're called because they're that long ago and because at the time when you were a kid like that you just play the game you're not really necessarily interested in what the game is actually called you're just more interested in just playing the game itself so yeah from that point of view like that was like the first one that I kind of remember as a as a kid was playing that along with some kind of like you were like a like an ice blob and you were moving these ice kind of almost like ice boxes to trap or get rid of enemies and stuff like that there's like little games like that i remember playing and that was kind of like my first real official experience with gaming this then led to my dad eventually getting out his old school Atari games console that he used to have from when he was a kid and that used to have like classic games like Asteroids and Space Invaders and I think there was one called Castle and Dragon and when I played that for like the first couple of times it used to scare the absolute crap out of me because you're basically this little kind of square blob and you're going through like these mazes collecting keys to try and escape the castle and every so often these dragons would just randomly appear out of nowhere you could get a sword and if you hit them with the sword they'll die but in other occasions like you know you, you had to like try and make your way as quickly away from them as possible to get into the next room so you didn't die and yeah it was, it was an interesting experience on the old Atari uh, but I definitely had a lot of fun with it um, and there was always like you know with the old kind of black and oh, that was a terrible start black and red button controller and you know uh, the cartridges that you would have to put, put in in order to play one of the games and there was always like one game that I wanted to play but never worked the cartridge seemed to have just died it was some kind of like combat game with uh, tanks and something like that, something of that nature and I really wanted to play it but every time I desperately tried to put it in it just didn't work it was so it was quite upsetting in all fairness like that I couldn't oh my word what a terrible terrible lack of concentration um it's just one of those games that I really wanted to play and I just could never play it because it just didn't work it's like I always remember trying to play this game just not being able to because of that fact which is kind of disappointing you know um, but after that, what came next for me in terms of my experience with gaming was uh, when Windows actually had a full operational operating system with like 95 and one of the games that I used to play on there was uh, kind of like, I think it had like a PGA Tour like golf game on there and then there was also kind of stuff like um, stuff like uh, FIFA 97 was one of the games that I played as well, that was crazy, that was a pretty damn good game. Uh, it was now when I look back on it, it was pretty crap. 
But at the time, like, it was amazing. I used to love playing that because you had like outdoors, indoors modes, and all that sort of stuff. So I really enjoyed playing that. And then <laughs> had a little kind of like running when I was uh, playing um, Grand Theft Auto, I think. My dad had the first Grand Theft Auto and I played it loads of times, all the time, like quite a bit. And he would like watch me play it and, I was, and all that sort of stuff. And, you know, I didn't really know what was going on at the time. And then eventually I started doing missions. And I think at that point, I think I was playing that one day and my dad was reading the text of it and he was like, yeah, you've got to stop playing that because literally every other word was a swear word. Not that I knew. I was just like, I was just playing this game. I didn't care. Like, <laughs> didn't have a clue what it was talking about, but yeah. So yeah, I had the, uh, the old like first run into GTA and all that sort of stuff, which is kind of fun. But then this kind of leads into me getting my first games console, which was... Oh man, Fruit Shoot is just not the one for me where my uncle uh, for my birthday gave me his Nintendo 64 which I had never, I don't really remember playing up until that point but then when the N64 came like it was amazing I really enjoyed playing on that console uh, kind of like the best games I had on it um, to start off with at the time uh, I remember was um, Zelda Ocarina of Time which is even now, I still think a fantastic game. Oh, we're going to be the last one to qualify here. Look at that, that's pretty good. Uh, so yeah, Zelda Ocarina of Time, which I thought was amazing at the time. Really, really enjoyed playing that particular game. I uh, also had something called, I think it was Star Wars Episode 1 Pod Racers. And that was a game and a half. Like, that was so fun to play with. And I remember that, that was like one of the main things at my birthday party was we'd plug in all these different controllers and play... Um, Star Wars pod races is one of the things and just have like you know kind of races with my friends and stuff like that and that was kind of fun as hell I really enjoyed playing that particular game um, on the N64 also had like an F1 style game as well wow why is that in the middle of this map wow there's three of them whoa, whoa, whoa. this is gonna be real tricky um, but yeah there was like stuff like that and the N64 is really really good but I wouldn't say that that was the console that kind of got me into loving gaming um, that actually goes to when my uncle also gave me his original PlayStation and the game ironically that made me fall in love with gaming was um, oh Jeez, I did that wrong. Was a uh, WWF SmackDown 2 Know Your Role? That was the game that got me into gaming. Everyone else, you know, you'd hear special stories about like Final Fantasy and you know all these other sort of games and that. But yeah, for me, it was a wrestling game. That was it. All I ever do and that was start the season. Because um, at the time, like I wasn't really, I wasn't really saving games. I'd play. Uh, a season mode up to Backlash, unlock Stone Cold Steve Austin and then start again just so I could be Stone Cold Steve Austin which is kind of funny oh no I've been eliminated I'm out oh I don't believe it that wow what kind of a spawn is that but yeah that was that was what got me into gaming that was the one that got me real hardcore into gaming and yeah it's like it's one of the best things was playing that particular game Oh no, oh wow, we're all like trying to get to this thing and it's <laughs> we're having a, an absolute pain in the backside to do. But yeah, that was like, PlayStation was the original game. Oh, what? I hate the fact I get pushed off so easily like that. Definitely don't think I'm going to get to qualify on this. Uh, but yeah, that was like the main thing that got me into gaming. And then from there, I saved up so hard, saved up a lot of money. Oh, I failed. I'm out. Saved up a lot of money to get um, eliminated. Damn, that sucks. Um, saved up a, a lot of money to eventually get PlayStation 2 for one of my birthdays. And with that, I think the first two games I got on that PlayStation 2 was FIFA 2002, which was a cool game at the time. When I look back on it now, um, it's not great. <laughs> but that was one of the uh, first games I got. And then... Um, I got WWE Smackdown just bring it as well which when I look back on that as well that was a terrible game like Smackdown 2 and 1 were so much better than Smackdown just bring it they spent so much money on creating the intro for that game but the actual game itself was not like amazing by any stretch of the imagination 
and as you can see there's like a, a little bit of a theme here now oh, I forgot to quit a little bit of a theme here now so yes I am at heart a PlayStation boy uh, PlayStation gamer in all fairness like that is that is the game for me always has been probably always will be in all fairness like um, yeah after that I got yeah, I got a GameCube. I went out and bought myself a GameCube um, as well. The reason I got GameCube is because um, I was going to my friends across the road and we were constantly playing Sonic Adventure Battle 2 and it was like an awesome, awesome game. And there were a few wrestling games I was interested in as well at the time. And I decided that I wanted to kind of get those. So I decided to pick up a GameCube and play those. And I really enjoyed playing them. So like... Um, I think it was like Wrestlemania 19 and 18 were on there, 18 was rubbish, 19 was a little bit better. Um, then you also had obviously Sonic Adventure Battle 2 which was just a crazy game, I think I played FIFA 2004 on that console as well. Um, and I had a lot of fun, it was so, it was, obviously the console itself was quite unique at the time but also just being able to easily play multiplayer on some of these games like I said Sonic Adventure Battle 2, you know, was always like the fun game to play on that particular one, racing your friends to get to the finish, uh, doing all these kind of like crazy moves and, you know, sliding on the rails, collecting all the hoops and stuff like that. It was almost always so much fun. And then the story mode on it as well, as campaign mode, was pretty damn good too. Uh, then after that, I, my uncle then gave me, yeah, my uncle is cool. I'm not going to lie, my uncle was so cool he, he's still cool like honestly my uncle's the coolest like he plays guitar plays drums plays video games you know he was onto everything at the times like he was he was really 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 cool and he gave me his xbox so he had an original xbox now the original xbox for me when i look back on it was not like the greatest thing ever let's be honest about it um I enjoyed playing like all the Halo games and stuff, but generally speaking, it wasn't like like amazing for me. So the original games that I kind of had on it at the start were not great. I went out, picked up like I think there was only ever like two WWE games on that thing. And they were just not amazing, you know. They were pretty bad. It has to be said, they weren't great. They were alright, but they were not great. So overall, like, my experience on Xbox itself was not particularly good. Um, which is why I probably never really looked into the Xbox that much. We qualified here, which is good. Um, and then this led me to my next console, which I went and bought, was a PlayStation 3. And PlayStation 3 was the game changer. I think Xbox 360 as well could be considered a game changer because that's when online gaming started to become the thing and it's also where I first really experienced Call of Duty Modern Warfare, you know, the Call of Duty started becoming a bit more of a staple within my library and it was like, it was crazy. I remember me and my best friend Jerome, I went around his house one day and he took out Call of Duty on his Xbox 360 and we would just play each other on it. And it was jokes, we were having a lot of fun doing it. And then um, eventually I picked it up on PlayStation and then he eventually joined PlayStation. He stopped picking, he stopped with the Xbox, trading in his Xbox and got a PlayStation 3. And we would just like play that all the time. Um, all the Call of Duties we started playing in. And you know, it was so much fun. We were actually like really good at it as well. We were, we were amazing at it for a long time. Uh, I think World at War and Modern Warfare 2 is where we were able to push it to like a different level. Especially he, he was so sick of that, honestly. He was probably like, he was like the best player I knew in terms of Call of Duty. And that. So yeah, it was pretty crazy. We had so much fun playing those games. Uh, the PlayStation 3 uh, actually became a very good uh, staple and because it started giving me a deeper appreciation for certain games like you know you had like Uncharted which made me get back into like adventure games after I struggled with uh, adventure games after Legend of Zelda because basically what I bought Majora's Mask and it was like the hardest game I've ever played I never completed it I couldn't get to grips with the whole you know um, 
you had to you had to um, restart the game like every three days so you'd have to like sing it like play this tune on your ocarina in order to go back three days in order to stop this moon from hitting the planet and it was, it was weird and i just i couldn't get my head around it i tried actually getting like a walkthrough because at the time like you could find walkthroughs online and i started using the walkthrough and i just like I just kind of gave up to be honest, I just couldn't do it. Um, so yeah, Uncharted was the main reason I got back into like adventure games. And then I started getting a deep uh, involvement with role playing games when I played um, Fallout New Vegas, which was the first ever role playing game I actually bought. And I bought it and it was like, it was a step above anything else I played at the time. Uh, I kind of came across it just because of the hype it had. And I was just watching videos on it. It looked really good, and that for me changed like the whole uh, the whole feeling I had on role playing games, and and so that made playing PlayStation 3 pretty awesome. It has to be said. Uh, the next kind of console gaming that I was involved with was I went out and bought myself a gaming laptop. <laughs> um, the main reason I did that was because there were certain games on it that had potential more freedoms on there you know through modding and stuff like that that you weren't able to get through the capability of a game console so i'd play like fallout 3 fallout new vegas and then add loads of mods on to make it a bit more fun a little bit more quirky and stuff like that um ironically though the first game i purchased on my gaming laptop was south park stick of truth uh i read so much about this game and i watched quite a bit on the game and it just got to a stage where i was like i really want to play this game and that, there was console versions and stuff, but they didn't really have everything on it that the PC version did. So I just went ahead and played with that. I just went out and got a game PC and played that game on there. Oh, this is this is a mad one. All guys, I hate all guys. I struggle with it so much. Just because look, look at that, I'm so far behind now. Oh, jeez, gotta get back up. Oh, no, that don't work. No. So yeah, gaming PC was next, and then that led into what I'm eventually using right now, which is the PlayStation 4. Uh, PlayStation 4, I bought, and the first game I got on it was FIFA 15, if I remember rightly. And FIFA 15 was okay, like graphically, I was like, wow, this is impressive, you know. Oh, that guy just knocked me down by hitting me up. What a um, so yeah, that was like the first game um, I got on it, uh, but then it kind of like led to me playing like Enchanted and stuff like that, and like, there are just like, oh wow, I failed there, they were just like awesome games, um, and yeah, like, it got me into like, uh, Grand Theft Auto 5 and all that sort of stuff, which I actually did have on PlayStation 3, um, which I thought were, again, very good games indeed. So, yeah, there's been a lot of, like, amazing games that I've played. Oh my word, we're actually struggling here. Alright, let's see if I can do this and try and make it as easy as possible for me. I don't know how well this is going to work. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow. I suck at this game. <laughs> there's no way to put it, I suck. Anyway, yeah, so... That was kind of like it for me. Like PlayStation 4 was the last one I got. Loads of good games on it. Played both, like played Last of Us, played Uncharted 4, played pretty much all the Call of Duty on it as well. Yeah, it's just been a great gaming console. But yeah, that's pretty much my journey through all the gaming consoles that I've owned um, or have had a kind of like part in, in all fairness. It's a bit unfortunate that I didn't really win anything. It didn't get particularly far in any of these ones. So I had chance to get to the final in that last one but just didn't turn out very well but yeah those are pretty much all the consoles that i've had any sort of experience with uh, if you leave your comments below let me know what kind of consoles you've played around with like you know what was your first console 
uh, what was like the first big game that you played on it, you know, and all that sort of stuff. That'd be great to hear from you guys and interact with you guys on it because honestly, it's quite a fun subject to get to a point where now, like, I'm using my PlayStation 4 to record videos and share them with you. And yeah, I have a lot of fun doing that. I really enjoyed the kind of process behind it all. So yeah, it'd be great to hear from you guys. Also, please remember if you're new here, subscribe to the channel, it'd be much appreciated, as well as smashing that thumbs up button as well. But until next time, I'll check you guys out. Laters.